introduce myself. I'm the Crafty Nana. Okay, so uh, today the Crafty Nana is going to have a go at making this rather battered old shelving unit into a two-room tower. I'd quite like to make it into a clock tower, but I haven't really worked out how to do it yet. But we'll see how we go. Um, I want to make balconies on the front. Um, I've been trying to take apart a metal shelving unit with some rather beautiful metal work around the front to use for the balconies. Can't break it down. Um, but I'm thinking of now having to go with some plastic baskets, which I'm going to try and cut to the right shape. So bear with me. We'll see how we do. Um, I popped the caps off the screws um, and I've taken out the screws from one side because obviously it's very boring watching somebody taking out screws, a bit like watching paint dry, um, but I've got to do the four on this side. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because they're too small in their current size to stand a 17 inch doll um, and so I've got to move the shelves um, up so that we can fit our full-size dolls in. Obviously we're going to need the screws in a little while. I'm going to put the new hole midway between the old holes. I'm going to go and retrieve my trusty drill. Remove the inside shelf so it lines up with the new place that I want to drill. That's it. Right, so I it out. Pop it up to where I want it. It's going to stick out a bit now because it's not going to line up with the holes in the back. But that's a good thing because, because I want to put a balcony on it anyway. We're going to be building it out the front. So I'm hoping I've got that lined up now. The last time I didn't get it quite even, so this time I really want it even. Um, so, having cut my basket in half, I'm quite pleased with the way it fits as two balconies um, on my front. Um, I was just before I get into like gluing them on, it would be much easier if I get my paper in. Um, I found this deep blue with roses, which I think would be quite nice for, for one of them. One of them I want to make quite exotic because it's for um, Jeannie, um, Jeannie Grant, and so she's a gin, and um, I wanted to make it quite jewels and gold and sparkly. But the other one I think would work quite nicely with this blue top and bottom or blue ceiling and blue floor um, if I use this nice deep blue paper. So I'm going to quickly um, cut it to fit, cut it to size, paste it in. I probably leave one wall unpapered. Um, so two walls papered, one wall unpapered. It will also help to cover up the joint in the back where I've moved the shelf down and there's now a gap. Um, so all those things 
are helped by having the paper covering it. Just a ruler and a cutting mat and a sharp knife and a quick slice. That's all we need to cut our paper to size. Pouring glue. Taking a paintbrush. Spreading it around right into the corners. So we don't get anything loose at the end. When your glue is nicely spread about, get your paper in. Run up to the edge, go to the top, spread it right the way over, press it down. Now, when you first put the paper in, it will bubble up a little bit because the Blue always makes the paper expand a little, but that's the first piece. We want some flooring, um, we want a light fitting, we want the balcony, we want some fabric to soften up the edges. So quite a few things more to do on this project, but it's starting to shape up. I think this is going to work quite nicely. I'm going to work out how to take the uh, base of the balcony to join up to the base of the room. So I'm just going to sort that out. I'm going to find my trusty hot glue gun next um, and a nice flooring that will cover up our joins. Um, but I'm, I, I think this is going to work out really well. I've got a roof to make as well. I'll be back in a moment.